Cody Son. I'm a senior Bonner working at the Birch Bridge Springs Medical Clinic and Swiss Memorial Elementary Garden Club, and I'm the daughter of an immigrant. My mother immigrated here when she was eight years old, and although the odds were stacked against her and she was told she would amount to nothing, she persevered and was able to go to college and work in a pharmacy, hoping to eventually attend pharmacy school to prove her haters wrong and make her own immigrant mother proud. Unfortunately, she became pregnant with me before she could complete her dreams, and she sacrificed everything for my own well-being. Because of this, I believe I've always had the inspiration to pursue a career in health, but it wasn't until my freshman year of high school that I was truly convinced that this was a field for me. Each year, my youth group sponsored a mission trip to the Dominican Republic where we visited a hospital, a village, and a retirement home doing various service projects and evangelization. However, even in high school when I was extremely religious, I remember standing in the hallway of the hospital feeling helpless and useless. My group was there solely interacting with the patients through song, prayer, and hearing people's stories. I remember wanting to help the understaffed and undersupplied hospital. I wanted to directly address the patient's various physical needs because I wanted to help in a way that would produce physical results. Since then, I've pursued activities that relate to public health and learning more about intersectional identities that affect one's health, such as working at the Birchburg Medical Clinic and summer internships, working in Sewanee as a summer vista to combat food insecurity, and also in a hospital in Memphis that works with diverse populations. Due to this passion for health, I decided to apply for my first internship after my freshman year at Sewanee working at the local medical clinics in Birchburg, Winchester. This came this summer after I took organic chemistry, did poorly, and decided to drop pre-med and consider nursing or PA school, or possibly dropping pre-health altogether. I was working in Volunteers in Medicine, which was actually my first Bonner site in Winchester, where I was a medical intern taking vitals and shadowing physicians. One day I was working with a volunteer physician, and I shared that I was losing hope in my dreams of becoming a doctor. Growing up a lower-income minority student in a poor public school system, I felt out of place in Swanee with kids who had been in multiple AP classes and international baccalaureate programs and who always seemed to know the answer in class. I doubted myself every day and eventually decided that I was not good enough to pursue pre-medicine anymore. However, I, after I helped a doctor perform osteopathic manipulative treatment on a patient, she told me that giving up on my dream would be ridiculous. She told me that I had significant potential just based on the treatment I had helped her with. Hearing these words changed my life. I never had someone in that kind of authority and field tell me that I had potential and that I should not give up. I left the patient's room with tears in my eyes because I had hope again for my dream of becoming a physician and saving lives. Since that life-changing experience, I have had renewed passion to pursue medicine and public health, and the Birchwood Clinic has helped to refine and further develop that passion through witnessing the issue of accessibility to healthcare and how limited resources significantly diminishes quality of one's life. Every day, we see patients that have high blood pressure and or diabetes, which is significantly impacted by the limited access to fresh produce other than what they might grow themselves or buy from local farmer's markets. The staff at the clinic has seen me at my best and at my worst. They've seen me grow, seen me fall, and have always supported me even when I didn't know what the next step was. Through Renee, I've learned selfless dedication to a community and how to give myself fully to my work. Through Ms. Norma, I've learned patience and kindness to anyone that enters the clinic, no matter their background. Ms. Cherry has taught me how to be bold and always speak my mind. And Ms. Linda has further inspired me to pursue public health and global medicine, and that cross-cultural barriers only exist in medicine as far as you allow them to. While I've learned a lot about rural environments, I realized this past summer that I meant to work in urban environments around more diverse populations. My time in Swanee has taught me about the struggles of lower income communities, but I also desire to work with communities of color that, that have similar intersectional identities as myself. My internship in Memphis this past summer taught me that access to resources and healthcare is limited even in an urban environment when one might live 10 minutes away from a hospital. For example, I learned about the limitations of the Affordable Care Act and Ted Care, through which many people are forced to go to the emergency room in order to get treatment for simple colds or pesky hangnails. Many of these insurance policies will cover emergency room visits, but not visits to clinics or primary care centers. Additionally, similar to Grundy County, transportation proves to be an issue and some lower income people will call ambulances for non-emergency issues because they don't have a ride to the hospital. Many of the issues I learned about in Memphis specifically affected people of color. In this country, people of color have faced more hardship and oppression than we can ever realize, and that oppression continues to this day. Healthcare disparities among communities of color, especially Black, Latinx, and Native American communities, are disparaging and need to be confronted. I hope to help address and combat this issue in the future by becoming a physician, volunteering in urban clinics and nonprofits, and eventually starting my own nonprofit clinic that helps young children of color. I realize my passion for working with kids through my work at the School of Theology Child Care and the YMCA. 
Children are the future, and by investing in our young ones, we can hope that they will eventually make the world a better place. Kids are so bright, innocent, and keen to learn. I believe that us adults could take notes on how to learn from others, different from ourselves, and treat others as equals despite our perceived differences. My love for medicine, culture, and children inspired me to pursue the Peace Corps. For some time, I've been unsure of what the next step after Swanee was, but upon research online, I felt a calling to a health program through the Peace Corps in my motherland, Cambodia. Although this program did not work out, I am happy to accept an invitation to Guatemala doing maternal and infant health. The thought of leaving the United States for two years terrifies me, but I know in my heart that Swanee and Bonner have prepared me for this through testing my endurance, learning cross-cultural skills, engaging with communities like and unlike my own, and teach me how to step up and also step back when needed. Part of me is sad to say goodbye on May the 13th, but I know that the future is bright and that I'm ready for the next step.